Knock at your door and I'm serving like pizza I got the ice, Italian pizza Bitch, I'm a family man like a pee. These niggas be short stops They're like G-Tip Knock a nigga out like I'm Vegeta I can't Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Rod. I'm back with another YouTube video for y'all today, man. And listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. Listen. Look, I'm back with another reaction video for y'all, man. And this is another high boy reaction to Jurassic. What the? What the, what the freaking? What is a Jurassic? Jurassic World explained by an idiot to an idiot. Shown to you idiots. You know, to you idiots. I, I got point to the camera. You idiots, because. Y'all are idiots. I'm an idiot. And so is Highboy. He's the head honcho of idiots. But hey, look. Before we hop into this reaction, though, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell for post notifications. Get notified when I post something. Follow my IG and Snapchat in the intro and outro. Follow my IG down below in the description. It's there along with this original video. So go show Highboy some love. But hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. I need a more, I need more, I need more. Y'all already know I'm rocking, man. I'm going to roll to 10K. Help me get there, please. Help me, please. And hey, man. Without further ado, let's hop into this video. Shall we? Put it in the basket. Let's get it. Welcome to Jurassic World, which takes place in the same island that Jurassic Park took in. So it's not really Jurassic World. Yeah. You know what I, mean? so I don't know why they named it that. Lies. Anyway, we got a dino way again. Mama sending off her kids to Jurassic World, where her sister works as a big, important park manager person or some shit. They arrive, and this English hoe called Czar shall take care of them, and their aunt hooked them up with Czar. VRP everything, you know what I'm saying? Then we get a look at the aunt, which is a Velma looking ass bitch, or you know, what's the other Scooby Doo character? Daphne. Daphne. Actually, she's like a mix between both of them. Looking so real Daphne good, though. Looks to have a business meeting with these three dudes about how they're going to make more profit in the park or whatnot, okay? And she says that consumers want dinosaurs to be bigger, louder, more teeth. More teeth? What? Okay, okay, just listen to someone. You don't need to do this, okay? Just don't do it. Don't say the stupid, disgusting thing in your mind right now, okay? Don't do it. Just move on, bro. Move on. Hold back. Yo, I was just thinking that. I was just thinking it. Bigger. Hey, wouldn't it be weird if penises had teeth? So she and Matt Ages oh, mine, dude. they used movie science to make a new type of big fuck off dinosaur. And she goes to meet her nephews. Playing. I'm using that word correctly, Just right? Playing. Nephews. Oh, have nephews. I'm, I'm, I'm whatever. I get confused. She meets them and basically tells them that she can't hang out with them because she's busy and she got business stuff to do. And they look key sad because this bitch doesn't understand that Ohana means family. Daphne goes to check on mission control of the park, then takes a ride in the chopper with Captain India, the owner of the park, to see their new fucked up freaking nature dinosaur creation, which turns out to be super smart. Apparently, and uh, tried to escape, which is not good news, okay? So he asked her to go get this dude who is a dino trainer expert or something to check on the enclosure and make sure it's safe and it cannot escape and whatnot, okay? Then we cut to dino dude and it's Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt? Chris, Chris Pratt. Pratt! I forgot his name, shit. Uh, it doesn't matter. We, his Pratt. name is Chris. Okay. His name is Chris, not Chris. Chris. Chris, yes. Say it properly. So Chris. Chris, okay. We cut to Chris and he's training raptors. And then Captain Beardgut comes along, tells him that he wants his raptors to be used as weapons in the army and whatnot. And Chris be like, "What are you crazy? My raptors are not weapons. They are living creatures, and they're dangerous as fuck." Oh come on, bitch! Did I stutter? I said no. Then a pig is wrong, man. How a pig would escape from this shit right here? But whatever it does, and this guy Twitbird falls in the enclosure, and Chris goes inside to save him by controlling the raptors the same way you know those dog videos where you put a treat on their nose and tell them to stay. Wait, yep. Wait, yeah. He keeps doing that and then he saves him and gets out himself by the skin of his teeth. It's a really weird thing. Skin of his teeth. Teeth don't have skin. Or maybe they mean the gums, you know. Uh, yeah, the probably, yeah, the gums, I think. Of escaping, the kids escape their stupid babysitter <laughs> and fuck around a bit. Then their mom calls them Jean like a lawfer or someplace like that. And then calls her sister like, Oh, Hannah means family, bitch. This a tough pair for me. I sent them over to you so I can have some family time. Oh my God. She's going through divorce. That's why she sent them off. Man, I was not paying attention to this movie at all. I've never seen it, though. So. And they you have some history before because they went on a date together and didn't work out so there's some tension between them okay and she'd be like come check out this big ass cage we made for one of our new assets and he'd be like oh no 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 it's not an asset okay and there are creatures yeah whatever man because they are living creatures with feelings and emotions and stuff they want to do like they want to eat they want to hunt they want to fuck Yes. Cut to the so do I. This big freaking crocodile dinosaur fish eat a shark and all the white people go wow and all these phones and tablets are now water damaged. Possibly even the teenager's phone but maybe he hit it. I don't know. Daphne shows Chris then closer and he tells I'll her that pissed. genetically modifying dinos is a bad idea phone. and making them look like this is also a terrible idea and stuff like that. And the thing won't come out to show itself so she taps on the glass. Do you really think this is gonna do anything you dumb cunt? What anyway, the freak? You're supposed to be an expert. You're doing that dumb stuff. No heat signatures inside so she immediately goes into freak out mode and leaves the enclosure and calls Mr. 
control, you know, the control room to track it. And this is a valid move given the climb marks and the lack of heat signatures. But don't you think there'd be more evidence to the fact that the thing escaped? Like, for example, the walls are currently under construction to be made higher. So don't you think any of the workers would have seen that dinosaur from Ice Age 3 escape? And Rudy has a tracker on her, right? So wouldn't it warn you if Rudy left exactly. the closure? Or was the guy who designed the security system of this park fucking completely batshit out of his mind? Doesn't matter. Cause exactly. Tells them that it's a big dinosaur. How can you miss it? And Chris and these two guys are also inside there inspecting the climb marks but then Rudy starts attacking them and Fatso opens the doors to escape then the control room closes the door so Rudy doesn't escape but too late bitches it's gone GG now everyone dies except Chris cause he masks his scent with gasoline so Rudy can't spell him then Daphne goes to the control room Rudy's a dinosaur? Hey bro. Yeah, we got this on the control lads and they dispatch the ACU to go deal with Rudy and ACU stands for America is chaos uncontrollable fucking chaos get your shit together oh my god then Chris makes it to mission control like what the hell was that? Guard blocks him for a bit and then lets him go cause obviously movie logic says if someone's yelling at my boss that automatically means that they have the credentials to be here fucking moron whatever they argue a bit she catches him up on what is happening and the ACU finds Rudy's tracker that she clawed out cause she is smart cookie and Rudy comes out of camouflage to kill every single one of them one by one and Chris goes evacuate the island we'd never reopen alright lady bro it's not important you got two options evacuate the island and you never reopen or don't evacuate the island Rudy fucks them all the ass and it's still not reopened so it shouldn't exactly the anyway, freak be stupid and having a music purple live dinosaur dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. who thought it was a good idea anyway oh, he must be really angry just look at how he knocked over these toys oh my god also nobody in this room mentions that he reeks of gasoline unimportant the kids are about to get on a ride and the teenager i fuck some girls come on a stupid hole you got a girlfriend man control yourself and as soon as they take off in their hamster ball the ride shuts off and everybody i need to see that girl again to the main you know resort place you know the part the thing that looks like a glass volcano that place because rudy's on the loose and it's dangerous then captain india goes to talk to mad asia and finds out why rudy can camouflage and do infrared stuff because of cuttlefish and uh, another gene from another animal whatever and he goes i never asked for this what have you created then we cut to <laughs> fucking jimmy fallon kill me please not this fucker he's giving them the funny the ah -ha's, you know tell them about how the hamster ball they're in is bulletproof and they're safe in here from all the dinosaurs then daphne finally remembers that she has nephews and she calls them but bad signals so people know here's the conversation and the teenager decides to take the ball off road through this broken fence instead of going back to the herd or, oh, of course you know, they the do balls. and a dickweed everything they put that fence there to keep out all the dinosaurs that might fuck up your puny little hamster ball crossing it might be a little bit i don't know fatal you dumb horny teenage twat so they find exactly. some dinosaurs and rudy finds them and attacks them and the dinosaurs that were just chilling and instead of running this way to safety he runs straight into this dinosaur with a medieval weapon for a tail or a fucking <laughs> moron anyway some shit happens and they jump off a cliff and escape rudy into some water okay they survive meanwhile daphne asks chris for help to look for her nephews and on the way they find a bunch of long necrosaurus that rudy killed for fun and this one that's dying <laughs> Yo, put it out of its misery, dog. Shoot it or something. Actually, how many times do you think you need to spin its head around before you, uh, you know? Bruh, you wanna snap the dinosaur's neck? What is wrong with you, high boy? And their footsteps. You gotta the save it. That they jump down, and she starts yelling them, and he'd be like, Bitch, you got a death wish or something? Shut the fuck up! They continue their search, and the boys find the remains of the old Jurassic Park and fix up an old Jeep. Which I'm kinda suspicious that they could do, but whatever, they're in the garage. Exactly. What the freak? And Chris and Daphne make it there just after they leave, and so does Rudy, and he attacks them and destroys the place. They try to run away, then Gandhi shows up with a minigun on his head. Gandhi. Boot, and they try to shoot Rudy and kill it, but it pokes a hole through this dome where all the flying bat dinosaurs are, and they fly through that hole, fuck up the helicopter, a helicopter go down, Gandhi dies, sad boy moment. Then the boys make it to the main park, and so do the flying dino bats, so shit truly has hit the fan. Chris and Daphne make it there too, they face attack each other, find the kids, meanwhile, face attack each other. thought a bunch of army dudes is gonna use Chris's raptors to hunt down Rudy, whether he likes it or not. Apparently he can do that because they're paying for his research, or whatever is happening over here, and she look at what she wants, usually what she wants to eat. Yeah, sure, but right now she's forced to look here, so it's kind of a useless statement, home dog. Anyway, Chris begrudgingly is to take part you're going to die for sure those raptors and makes them smell Rudy's meat so they can track it twig bird over acts pressing a button making me cringe harder than when I found out Jimmy Fallon was in this movie just like dude just relax you're opening a gate and a fucking blowing up a house so who let the dogs out the raptors are unleashed and they look for Rudy they find Rudy but it turns out that she is part raptor and starts communicating with them and turns the raptors against Chris why has nobody shot it yet it's taking them so long light it up yeah thank you Mr. Beer Gut. anyway they shoot and miss a rocket on it you holy you how do you miss a rocket that shit for that long he didn't shoot ah oh, man yeah and now you have a forest fire on your hands so it's stupid whatever. Rudy gets away the raptors attack them one of the raptors blows up and Chris draws the rest of them away they attack Daphne and the boys but the boys be strong boys and they fight back they fend them off and turns out that Beer Gut and Mad Age are working together in an evil Mad Asia <laughs> evil secret stuff and Mad Asia leaves the island Marlon just evacuated the island let the dinosaurs roam free on the island then, like 
what's the point of what's the point of having all this? Just let them roam free on the island and How evacuate the island. These guys were there. Okay, maybe they didn't see them at first when they walked in. But you tell me that that's the only noise that they made. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Beer God comes along and reveals his plans to use more smaller rooties in combat in Afghanistan or whatever the fuck you want to make a war next America. Then a raptor comes in and kills him. Finally, then the scoop runs away and gets cornered by the rest of the raptors. Rudy comes along and then the raptors look at Chris like, "Papa, is that you?" Then they switch teams and start fighting Rudy. Then Daphne runs over to the T-Rex enclosure, tells this dude to open up the T-Rex enclosure, and then starts running away at the very last second. Like, check this out. He's like 10 centimeters over here. What the fuck? In the heels. You're really gonna outrun a fucking T-Rex? She can't run it. I'll run a freaking T-Rex. The the freak? And she throws the flare at Rudy, and big dino fight happen where all hope seems lost. But out of the blue, Blue comes to help out. Get it? Cause that raptor's name is Blue. Oh my Chinese. god. Uh, the blue. No, this is terrible. Raptor this is terrible. Up for the T Rex to take a big steaming shit on Rudy and they corner him and push him next to the water. Then the larger than charged crocodile jumps out of the water and kills Rudy. Hell yeah. The T Rex leaves, the raptor leaves. Next day, everybody's off the island, I hope. I'm guessing. Yeah. Because who in their right mind would allow visitors to the fucking island with a T Rex and a raptor on the loose? Exactly. Mom and dad come over to reunite with their kids. Yeah, actually, this is also a terrible idea because there's still a bunch of airborne fuck yous flying around. Hey, so what the f Why did the parents come to the to island? Oh my god. As possible from this fucking island. But you know, what? All dumber than a bunch of headless chickens. So what you gonna do? This movie gets uh, two watermelons out of one two by four concrete slab. Bro, what? So they had the parents come to the island at the end when there's still dinosaurs on the loose when they should have just evacuated everybody and they could have met their parents when they got back to America. What is that? What it? Bro, right, nah, nah, that's how you know. This that's how you know this movie's stupid. Oh my god. And why would you rebuild Jurassic Park after the dinosaurs got, you know what, and have them with bigger and more teeth? But this is so freaking, but nah, this is dumb. This, this, I haven't seen this movie, and I already know it's stupid. Let me know what you actually think of the movie, what you think of High Boy himself. But hey, man, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. <sighs> Ding! Hit that bell for post notifications. Get notified when I post something. Follow my IG Snapchat, the intro and outro. Follow my IG down below in the description. It's also there along this original video. I'm, all right, I'm going to stop doing that. But like, <laughs> I'm going to stop doing that. But yeah, go show high boys some love. But look, I need more. I need more. I need more. I'm going to roll the 10K. Help me get there. Please, help me, please. Hey, man. With all that being said, I am. <laughs>